Okay, so we have looked at definitions of endothermic, exothermic, the examples of endothermic and exothermic reactions. We have looked at endothermic, exothermic in terms of bond breaking, bond forming, energy profile diagram, energy level diagram. Last but not least, we are going to look at the calculations that's involved, okay, in energy changes. Okay, so this measurement or the unit is usually in kilojoules per mole. All right, this table over here, you don't have to memorize. It will be given to you, okay? So in this example over here, we are going to look at water formation, okay? These are the things that I want you to do it. Okay, so write the structural formula. Water formation, you have to know is H2 plus O2. Oxygen is a double bond. If you cannot remember, please review your chem bonding. Okay, give me H2O. H2O will look something like this. Okay, this is my structural formula. Balance out your equation. I need to have two. Right, this is what we are doing here. Okay, next one. Calculate the delta H of the reaction. So I have energy absorbed to break this bond. I'm breaking two HH single bond plus one O double bond. Okay, this whole thing must minus away energy release to form the bond. When I release, I'm forming four kinds of OH. Okay, this one will give me the delta H. Okay, so use this table two times of 436. So let's look at this. HH single bond is over here. Use the table and plug in the values. Plus one pint of oxygen double bond. Okay, let's look at it. Oxygen double bond is over here. 497. Okay, put in your bracket so that you can definitely get it correctly. Yeah? This is plus, huh? Okay, minus four times of the OH bond. So look for your OH bond. Where is the OH bond? Over here, 464. Equals to delta H. Okay, let's see the values. Huh? Two times of 436 over here, plus 497 over here, minus four. So minus two times two of 464. Right, your overall value will be minus 487. Exothermic. Exothermic. This is release. How do I know it's release? Look at the values. It must be a small number or minus a big number. Okay. Explanation. Explain if the reaction is endo or exo. This reaction is exothermic. Energy is given out and there's a rise in temperature. The energy absorbed. To break two moles of H single bonds and one mole of O single bond is smaller, small number minus big number, then I can get a negative value. Okay, then the amount of energy, write it in release, must be there. Okay, to form four moles of OH bonds. Okay, and then convert this whole thing to your energy profile diagram. Right, since energy is released, the products give out the energy, so it must be low level. Start with the high level of your products. Write in your reagents here, your products here. Okay, as it is, label your graph. All right, and then connect it with a curve. Okay, activation energy is from the pro, uh, reactants to the top of the hump. Put it an uh, upward arrow. And this is 1369. Why is it 1369? It's because over here, I need to absorb it 1, 3, 6, 9. Then the reaction will proceed. Okay? And then your overall delta H is negative value. Your arrow must be downward. Okay? Negative 487 because I just counted it. 